In this video I'll explain how to replace character values by NA using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and in the first example I will explain how to replace certain NA characters in a vector object using the R programming language. So as first step we need to create some example data as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears, which is called vec. And we can have a look at this vector object by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our vector object contains five character letters. And as you can see, the letter A is contained twice at the first position and at the third position of our vector. Now let's assume that we want to replace this character by an A. Then we should first create a new vector object so that we can store an original version of our input vector, as you can see in line five of the code. So after running this line of code, another vector object, which is called vec and A, is created at the top right. And at this point, this is just a duplicate of our input vector. And then in line six of the code, I'm subsetting our vector object so that only the characters A are returned, and then I'm assigning to this an A. So in other words, an A stands for not available, so we are setting all letters A to missing values. So if you run line six of the code, our vector is updated, and after running this line of code, we can also print our updated vector to the RStudio console by running line seven of the code, and then you can see that we have inserted an A values at each position of our vector where the letter A has been stored before. So in this first example, I have explained how to insert an A values in a vector. However, it's also possible to replace characters in a data frame column by an A. And this is what I want to show you in the second example, starting in line nine of the code and in lines nine to 11 of the code, I'm creating an example data set. So after running these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains five rows and three columns, which are called X1, X2, and X3. And as you can see, all of these columns contain character letters. So let's assume that we want to replace all the characters C in our entire data frame. Then again, it makes sense to duplicate our data first, as you can see in line 13 of the code. So after running this line of code, we have created a new data set, which is called data NA. And at this point, this data set is containing exactly the same values as our input data set. And then in line 14 of the code, I'm subsetting our data set again. And this time I'm using only the elements of our data set that are equal to the character C. And to this I'm assigning an A values. So if you run line 14 of the code, our data set is updated and we can see that by clicking on our data set. And then you can see that at each position in our data set where the character C has been contained in the original data, the NA value has been inserted. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to replace characters in a vector and in a data frame by NA values. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.